It is such an unbelievable story, just the facts alone, let alone what we're learning just tonight on this program. I am joined now by Joe Guess. He is the father of the youngest victim, 13-year-old Tiffany Guess. He has his friend Sonny Summers with him for moral support. Joe, I am just so sorry for you and what your family is, is dealing with and going through. Have you heard any more information or details from authorities about this crime? No, I've got one phone call, and that phone call was yesterday saying they found seven bodies, and that's the only thing I've heard. Who was it that made that phone call? It was uh, some investigator down there doing the, at the property, but that's all I know. And an investigator was able to inform you of the fate of your daughter? They said just seven victims. They didn't tell me who it was. How did you find out? Facebook. The news on the online. And uh, Holly's <laughs> mother uh, finally said or posted that uh, it was uh, the kids when they, they said on there, confirmed. So you've had no outreach, no contact from authorities in any way, um, even just for emotional support in, in this terrible crime? No, not at all. I am so sorry to hear that, Joe. Did you know anything about this perpetrator, this stepfather of Tiffany's, Jesse McFadden? Did you know anything about his history as a registered sex offender and as a rapist? No, because my daughter would not have spent a second in the house. I would have brought the whole damn police force with me or I would have drug him out by the nap of his head. Holly never mentioned anything at all to you about this. No, the only thing we ever talked about was at the beginning of their relationship, we had an understanding that no one would be around the kids unless we both agreed upon it and we did a background check and we were okay with it. I asked if there was a background check. She said, yes, nothing was there. So you were, you were lied to about the background because as we're learning now from the children's grandmother, Jan Mayo, uh, Holly did find out about the criminal background, but unfortunately, this she was like beast, so. Jesse, Mc, yeah, Jesse McFadden hired an actress to lie to her to say that she was the rape victim and that it was all a misunderstanding. Do you think that's why Holly didn't tell you? I don't know. I know that in the, from the bottom of my heart, I know that if any one of them would have told me anything, I would have been there. Period. I'd have been there. I don't care, ex-wife not, I'd have been there. What was your last communication with your daughter, Tiffany? It was uh, last Thursday. I talked with her a little bit. After, as I was talking with Holly, the kids were talking and talking to me in the background. All the kids, I don't, I don't care. The older two aren't biologically mine, but I was there since Riley was one, and Michael James wasn't even born, and we were married thirteen years. Those, Those are, are all kids. his kids. They all look to him as daddy. So this is this is an additional blow. I didn't know that. I didn't know you had a close relationship with the um, with the other kids, Riley, and Michael. And you had a chance to to speak on the phone. Yeah, uh, yeah. And matter of fact, it wasn't even a few months ago. Me and Holly were still talking about possibilities of me going through the legal system and still adopting the older two. Even though she had married Jesse McFadden? Yes. Do you have any Those thoughts as to why she might have been thinking that there, that you could adopt the children when she was married to someone else? Because we've been working on it for over 10 years. They loved him. They, they didn't look at nobody else as their daddy. They this came, is their daddy right here. They came to me the last season of Darren Trek and was like, uh, Dad, we know you're not our biological dad but we don't care, you're our dad. So Riley and Michael called you dad as well? Yes. I am just so they sorry for, for what you're going through. This is just, it's such a tremendous, I mean, it's, it's an unimaginable loss that what's happened. Um, at this point, do you hold anyone responsible for having let Jesse McFadden out of prison? It looks like three years early, while a crime had been committed 
in prison a crime that was similar to the crime he committed that got him into prison. Yeah, he never should have been let out. The legal system completely failed. And not to mention, where's the sign? Where's the pink light? Where's all the indicators of somebody that's supposed to be a registered sex offender? Somebody dropped the ball. Joe was kept in the dark. He didn't know anything about this guy's past. We didn't know anything about this guy's past until yesterday when it started popping up. And we're learning more and more about it in real time right now on the interviews you're doing that people that knew about it, but yet for months and kept it privileged to their little circle and didn't tell Joe anything about it. I, I imagine it, it might have been new information tonight that that this sex offender had hired an actress to tell your ex-wife um, and the mother of your kids that there was no sex offense at all, that she was the pretend victim and that it was all a misunderstanding. I never knew Holly found out anything, and I never knew about a lie. I never knew about portraying nothing. I never knew about any of it. When they found out what Is the public anything? record was, and they knew Go ahead. that he was a sexual offender and they knew that he had been in jail for all those years for rape, somebody should have told this man so he could protect his daughter and his, and his kids. It, all three is his kids. What would you like, Joe, what would you like us to all know about all three of those kids, Riley, Michael, and your daughter, Tiffany? Well, they were taken from me too soon, but the best moments of my life. My, uh, my oldest Riley was amazing, great artist, all the time asking if she could just draw me something. My son, always excited about showing me a new video game and talking for hours about video games and engineering and building this and building that. My youngest straight-A student, most amazing, sweet, kind person. Doesn't matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, she'll come running and jump in my arms. Daddy. Track star. And I'll never get it again. Daddy's girl, track star. Fun-loving kids, man. Fun-loving good kids. Oh, it's we're looking at the pictures. We're looking at the pictures of them, and they really are beautiful children. And I am just so sorry, Joe, for your loss. I'm, my heart goes out to you tonight, and I hope you learn more information from the authorities in the coming days. And Sonny, thank you for being there for Joe, for his moral support. Um, again, our thoughts and our prayers are with you tonight, both of you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for bringing light to this story, man. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.